Hey folks, back out again. First camp out of spring 2016 in the lovely, beautiful, rainy wet weather. Gotta love it. You can still get out and have fun. We're just here, Cole Craven and I came to our base camp. We left our tarps and stuff up. Like I had mentioned before in a previous video, we left them up for the winter and uh, just in case we wanted to come down in the winter time or whatever, you know, we wouldn't have to worry about the snow on our beds and stuff as you can see. We're still up. Mine's great. I'm actually very happy. All my logs in my bed are dry after it's been raining for like the last two days straight. But uh, I just got to go around. There's a couple of spots on the tarp. Obviously, we're all winter and the weight of the snow and stuff on the back. Some of the little cords I had on the back just let go because I just used, um, uh, if you go back into the video that I had beforehand of this one, I'll actually put a link to it in the description below. I just used um, pine cones, small pine cones as the buttons. And obviously over the winter they've got soggy and stuff and have kind of pulled through or whatever. So I got my new clips that I have, so I'm going to add them onto it. So once I get that all set up and fixed up, I'll come back and show you the, the new design. Well, not the new design, but kind of refix the tarp. Anyway, talk to you soon. Be back. So there we go. Just real quickly, uh, tighten up the line on the corner, bring it back out. Straight across so it's not sagging. Put my other clip over here. Just ran it up that tree just to bring it out more so when I'm sitting underneath. And then show you around the back side. Just the same thing. Turn around and put a clip over there just on the tarp just to pull it out so sitting underneath I can uh, sit and not have to worry about the, uh, the rain. <coughs> Mind the camera movement. So over there I can sit here like that, and I've got a nice, you know, about a two foot, three foot hangout. So if it does rain, but I don't think it's not. I'm praying to the, the sun gods. It ain't going to rain. Cole's laughing. He thinks it's going to rain. Weatherman says it is, but I always challenge him. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes it nice. And uh, just going to get all packed. And then uh, got a couple of things I'm going to show. So see you in a bit. Oh, real quick, let me show you. See over there? Cole made a little umbrella for his camera. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in. Actually, pretty ingenious. Actually, I think he'll enjoy it. He's always thinking. Guy's always thinking. He just took a plastic bag. Ooh. Sorry. Whoa, wrong way. Oh, oh, see, it's been a while. I haven't been out in a while. Yeah, you just got a plastic bag and you turn it stuck like a, a Y branch inside the plastic bag and draped it over. And now he's got a pretty little umbrella for his camera. Pretty neat. Pretty cool idea. So, you see, back in a bit. So, you see, it started raining. I guess the weatherman was right. But, uh, I just took one of the tarps that I had and I just uh, strung it up between the trees that we have. I mean, it's kind of low for me, of course, on the fall, but at least we can stand underneath. We got our fire pitches down here, turn around and cook. Um, you know, keep you out of, the, out of the rain, sit here or whatever, eat our food and stuff like that. Just goes to show little things like that. If you think about like this tarp, I got this one at the dollar store and uh, it was like three bucks. I turn around and pick it up. It's the one that I have normally in my shelter. I left it here all winter and I had it on top of the, the logs just to help keep the dry and stuff, but over the storm and stuff. I actually forgot I had it here. It was blown in behind my shelter. I just came across it, but I've got other ones with me if I want one anyway in my bag. But it kind of shows, I guess what I'm trying to get at is that, uh, you know, if, if you think outside the box and uh, it goes to show, you can still come out. You know, like you say, it's not like rain, rain. It's more just that annoying drizzle right now. No, it's versus... rain. Huh? It's raining. I call it drizzle. It. We normally get rain as like... <laughs> <laughs> but it's the fact of you can still get out and, uh, you know, you can still enjoy the outdoors. Plus, the fact of it being wet, like Paul and I always say all the time, it uh, it adds to the challenge. You know, trying to find wood that's, uh, you know, dry and... Get the fire going and uh, stuff like that. 
it, it adds to the challenge and makes it fun. Uh, you know, my theory is if you can come out in the rain or, you know, in the cold of weather and the snow and stuff like that, you can get a fire going, you know, and you can stay warm and everything else, you can pretty much stay out in any kind of condition. But anyway, we need to get supper started and we'll be back soon. So, as you can see, Cold Crab Bush Gosh trying to give us smoke signals. <laughs> it goes to show you how wet it is. Well, we got the wood split up. Got our fire going. As you can kind of zoom in there a little bit. You can see the coal. Look at those coals down there building up. It's burning through. Like I said, we got the tarp on the top. Just turn on and keep the, the rain off of it. So very soon, we're going to throw in some uh, potatoes wrapped in tin foil. Get them started. And once that comes down a bit more to coals, so we're going to throw on some nice steak on there. Compliments of my wife. She was so great, taking the coal and I. Throw some steak on there. And then we got some cob and a corn we're going to cook in a pot. Cannot wait. It's going to be yummy. I smell goodness. I smell steak and baked potatoes down there. Yeah, there's the baked potatoes right down there. You can see them right there. The steak. We got some corn going in here. In this beautiful, sunny, gorgeous, hot, amazing day. I mean, you can't go wrong. Like, beautiful weather. Look at that out there. Yeah, I know. I'm crazy. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, is the food. This is the way you got to do it out in the bush. You turn it on and bring it out. And you make the other guy cook it. <laughs> anyway. We're having fun. It's a blast sitting here, having a great conversation, listening to the rain. And of course, I just love the sound of it on the tarp. I was sitting here for a bit, it was like, I started to fall asleep. I had to get up and do something. Um, it's enjoyable. It's nice, it's fun, it's different. But, uh, oh, I'll show you something else. Dum dum me. I forgot to bring my plate, so I found a birch tree. Look at that. Got my table, I got myself my plate. I'll just put my food right there. Got the butter for the corn and the potatoes and the salt and the pepper. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Can't wait. Anyway, be back soon. Now, there. Is a crazy Canadian bushcraft supper. Look at that nice char cold steak. It's got some char on it. That's the good stuff. Some baked potato, some corn, all on a nice birch bark plate. Oh, can't wait. It's gonna be good. So, mainland. Special shout out to you, buddy. You're always talking, you're cooking, your foggy legs and stuff, and we're going back and forth. This is how we do her up here. Good supper. Oh, I can't wait. I've been thinking about you the whole time eating it. It's awesome. All cooked on the fire. The charcoal helps with your uh, pulses and digestion. Keeps the stomach feeling good, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, still raining, going on. It's nice. But anyway, I'm about to eat. Hold on to start, it's hiding over there. Give you a little shot. Look at him hiding under his little uh, teepee. <laughs> Shelter, I should say. He looks like he's having fun. Anyway, back soon.